Hey, hey, y'all, Jeremy James here of The Bourbon Realtor coming at you on this Whiskey Wednesday for Bar Stools and Bourbon. Today, I'm gonna take a step into Southern Indiana and check out a new one on the scene here, the Starlight. I've been seeing them around a lot lately, have not had any of their stuff, but wanted to dive into it a little bit today. So this one is the Carl T. Huber's limited release double oak bourbon whiskey. Now this is a pick from Total Wine. A Total Wine pick. So this is a, um, Patrick's pick. It's been double oaked in French oak. Uh, comes in four years at 104.6 proof. So um, I've been hearing a lot about this brand, um, but just have not had any of their stuff. I know they're doing a lot of uh, finishings and um, and a lot of different things like, uh, I believe, brandy casks and wine casks and those types of things. This is a straight double oak. Um, I don't believe there was anything going on with the, the second barrel I th other than just it being uh, French oak. So Carl T. Huber's uh, small batch signature named after a family member. Um, it's French, charred French oak um, for eight additional months. And um, they use the, I, I'm going to mispronounce it, Seguin Moreau Vanilla Toast Bourbon Barrels. Whatever all that means. Anyway, all right. So let's crack into this. Oh, oh, oh that was a nice pop. I love that new cork pop. So let's go ahead and pour this thing out. And take a look. All right, so let's take a look. There we go. Color-wise, it's not as dark as I typically like. It's got a little bit of that um, honey color. It's not real dark amber, probably on that lighter honey side. Coats the glass pretty well. Decent lines, our legs coming down. Got a nice little rim at the top. Looks okay. Clarity's good. It's got fairly nice and clear. All right, let's see what we've got on the nose. So right away, getting some um, some citrus and a little bit of floral with that oaky background. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Not too bad though. Kind of medium nose on it. More floral and, and um, citrus notes than I was really expecting for a double oak. At 104.6, it's not too bad. Um, I don't have a lot of um, esters on the nose, or ethanol rather, on the nose. When I breathe deep on this side, I get a little bit of that ethanol, but not bad at all. I believe this is a high rye um, mash bill. This was batch DB018, it looks like. All right, let's take a taste. So first sip, very oak forward. Um, you can definitely tell that this is uh, a double oaked um, bourbon and it has a little bit of hint of sweetness as it hits the tongue, but it is predominated by the oak. Um, there's some of that floral um, notes as well.
especially back of the palate and that finish. I'm getting more of the, the herbal, um, those rye notes, those typical rye notes that you would expect. A little bit more on that second sip, a little bit of that more uh, caramel vanilla sweetness up to, up top. Okay, so the grain baking spices are coming through on the nose a little bit more now, now that I've got my palate adjusted. But again, very oak forward, finishes really heavy on those green herbal notes, that dill and that rye. Um, Mouthfeel tends to be a little bit on the medium to lighter side. The finish is a little bit of a Kentucky burn, so um, it's, it's there, but um, your finish on the mouth, a little bit dry. I think it's because of the increase in tannins on that double oak. A um, little bit of heat, not too bad. Certainly not, I had a little bit of hug, a little bit of heat in the mouth, but not anything like really burning my mouth or anything along those lines. So I like the, like the oakiness. It is stressing now the the herbal nature um, of the high rye, and really just kind of punching through with those dill and and green herbal notes uh, that are in there. If you like double oak and you like rye, I think you're probably going to like this. Um, I would like for me. I would like to see. The rye notes toned down a bit, but then I'm a bur I'm, I'm a weeded bourbon guy. I like the the stronger vanillas, caramels, and, the, and those types of things. And I'm a four grain guy, um, so I'm not always gravitating toward the rise. Um, I'll check to see if they um, have actually shared what their mash bill is in this, and I'll share it um, in here just so we can see. I would guess fairly high percentage of rye, um, as Alan Bishop says that. Um, that dill rye flavor has more to do with the, the yeast and stuff. So I'd be interested to see on what they do that uh, there as far as just from a geek perspective. Bleh. Just lots of floral and herbal notes in the back. That's where the finish is completely... The oak settles way down, but that is, it's like an herb garden in the back of my mouth right now. I would just like to see a little bit more sweetness and caramels in there. Um, some of those sweeter, candier flavors. Doesn't have to be a dessert. I mean, it doesn't have to be Angel's Envy or anything like that, right? But comparing it to another double oak, like, um, what is it, Old Forester 1910, I believe is a double oak. Um, uh, Woodford Reserve Double Oak. I tend to gravitate more towards those because that's more on the caramel vanilla oak side. But if you like a high rye, if you like those flavors, but you also want it in a double oak, this might be a good option for you. This Starlight uh, Carl T. Huber's Double Oak Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, again, this is a barrel pick from Total Wine. Um, and so you can see the details there on it obviously it's going to be limited but you should be able to get something fairly close um so yeah so for me on the um the the smash pass or bar um i'm glad i have this on my bar would i buy necessarily another one of these i don't know um just because it's not my profile um is it bad no not at all um, but if you like double oak and you like high rye and you like rye whiskey, you're probably going to love this. Um, starts off nice, strong, heavy with that oak up front, a little bit of that mild sweetness, and then really just that herb garden in the back uh, with those baking spices and everything else. You're probably going to love it. Um, so this one might be for you, just not necessarily for my palate. Um, interested to see what else Starlight's got going on. Uh, we're, I think we're actually going to be doing a show out there before too awful long. So it'll be really interesting to see um, what they've got going. Um, anyways, um, 
I'm Jeremy James, the Bourbon Realtor. This is Whiskey Wednesday, and as always, glasses raised.